In this video, I'll be showing some of the snapping options in ArcGIS Pro. Um, and I've created just a little roads data set here that I've been digitizing on. And we're going to add a few more roads. Uh, snapping is controlled up here. I'm on the Edit tab, and you see this little drop down. Right now, it tells me that snapping is on. And then you get a number of little options about what kinds of snapping go on, whether you're just snapping to the end of a line or onto the line segment itself. Uh, there are various times where you might just want to snap to existing vertices and other times when you might want to be able to snap anywhere on the line and other times where you want to snap on the line but not on the vertex. So this is how you can have some finer grained control. Um, this window is a little quirky. Sometimes, uh, I, from my experience, you have to turn an option and then click off of it and then get started and then it seems to work. Um, but I think it is designed so you can easily turn snapping off and on. Here I clicked it, and it's supposed to turn snapping back on. You can see as I move my cursor around that it is snapping onto this line everywhere along the line, including edges and vertices. Um, but for a minute, let's suppose I had snapping off and I had forgotten that it was on or I didn't want to, or that it was off or I didn't want to turn it on. Uh, I might be tempted here to not deal with snapping. I might think, well, I can just digitize very accurately. For example, maybe I'm trying to connect on this road and I just eyeball it perfectly even if I'm right on the exact pixel and maybe I want to connect it down here and I think well I can I got a pretty steady hand I'm going to digitize it I'm going to connect it right on um, the issue here is that you're never going to be able to connect it exactly so if you zoom in you'll see there's an undershoot here and this data would really be worthless if I was trying to do it for uh, any kind of routing purposes or network analysis because I cannot make a turn from this road onto that one. There would be no ability to have a connection there. So this data set would basically just be good for display and that's about it. Um, so you don't want to do this. So let me delete this feature and we'll try again do this better uh, by using snapping. Okay, so I'm going to turn snapping on. And uh, we'll go to create a new line segment. And see now that it snaps right onto that existing row. And uh, so let's go ahead and digitize this. Notice I'm putting down more vertices as it goes around a curve and I'm avoiding putting them down anywhere else where I need to go straight. I'm just just double click to finish that line. Uh, so snapping was very helpful in that instance. Um, now let's talk about the snap tolerance. That's how sensitive this is to snapping. Right now, the snap tolerance, uh, I don't really know what it's on here, but you can set it uh, by clicking set, and it's kind of weird to draw a circle like this. So you set the circle of how much you want the snap tolerance to be. So let's say I wanted it to be 12 pixels. So now it will snap whenever I'm within 12 pixels of this line. And that can be useful, although if I'm trying to do something real detailed, like this little curvy thing, uh, that goes here. I might have a hard time with that because if I'm trying to put a vertex really close to an existing line but not on it, notice how it snaps. So this would be really difficult to digitize. Uh, I have a couple options here. I could turn snapping off, but if I do that, uh, I don't want to turn it off until after I've digitized the first vertex. And I need to turn it back on when I digitize the last one. So uh, because I want it to make sure it connects onto this line. So my other options would be to reduce the snapping tolerance or simply zoom in, in this case, uh, let's try that, and uh, that should be okay for my needs here. There might be other situations where you can't zoom in anymore or that's not helping you, and you will have to reduce the snap tolerance or temporarily turn off snapping while you're doing that detailed digitizing work.